so I have been eyeing the Dollar Tree wall stickers for a very 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 long time because they be having some beautiful pretty quotes I would like to show around but I just had no idea how to connect these wall stickers to anything besides a wall because it just fell off well I found a way to finally do this and I'm so excited because the possibilities are so endless what you will need to do is get some heating bond and that is what will be the sticking agent to put it on different surfaces like fabric so I found this um, wall sticker in Dollar Tree it's called can't touch this with some pretty little you know images around and I thought it'd be really pretty and cute to have that as an apron where I can be using it strictly for my DIYs and stuff like that so I have already attached the sticky side of the wall sticker to the bumpy side of the heat and bond and now I'm just cutting out the excess um, heating bond from around the actual uh, wall sticker because when you do apply heat you don't want it to attach to the surface that you're using to cover the wall sticker when you are applying heat you will see what I mean when you when you watch the process done but removing all of the excess heating bond is very very crucial and important to move on to any next step The setting on my iron is cotton. The heating bond states a low heat would allow it to adhere, but because of the sticky back, I am using cotton setting, no steam, no water whatsoever in this iron, just so that I can get this connected to each other. There is no instructions on how long you should keep the iron on the heating bond for what I'm using it for so I just guesstimated and did whatever I felt like doing. Um, as you can see the um, adhesion got to the paper that I was using to pry heat with um, the heating bond onto the um, wall sticker so that's okay it's nothing really um, crazy about that that's why I says make sure to get all the heating bond off because if you don't you will get it stuck to whatever you're using to apply the heat for it now this is where the fun begins you will get your garment I'm using an apron and you will put out the designs wherever you feel on the apron to start making your design however you feel So my iron is still set on the cotton setting and I am applying major pressure as you can see the whole table is moving while I am moving side to side back and forth up and down all around you know I want to get full coverage of heat all over this wall sticker so they can apply a hundred million percent to my garment um, so that's all I'm doing right now at this point I realized it's worked everything is adhered to my apron so now I'm going to lay out all the other pictures from the wall art and apply it to my apron how I want it to actually stay and then I'm just going to use my iron once again and apply a lot of pressure and heat to each and every one of them so they can stay where I like them to be and that is it. So here are some tips I want to give you guys in case you want to try this yourself. Number one is that although I'm using my iron to initially apply everything to my apron, I went back and put all of this underneath my steam press which is similar to a heating press and I put pressure on it with a lot more heat because I wanted to make sure it's stuck. Number two is that if you're going to do this you have to make sure you buy heat and bond ultra hold that's what I'm using I know nothing about any other type. Number three 
wall stickers are not waterproof so as you see here I have some heat and bond gloss vinyl that I'm going to adhere to the wall stickers so I can wash my garment I should have did this beforehand but I forgot you know I just was in happy states like yay but you need to do this in order to protect your garment if you're going to wash it but that is it this is my beautiful apron thank you guys for checking out my video give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber have a good one everyone